Hello, my name is Mohammed Hamdan. I'm a professor in mechanical engineering, and I'm going to give you today an introduction to ease. So, my main objective here, or my the outline of my uh, video, is what is ease, how ease can be useful for you, how you can start using ease, and how to use ease to solve thermodynamic problem maybe in uh, next coming videos, and finally uh, learn some of the ease down menu. So EASE actually is an acronym for Engineering Equation Solver from the name of the uh, software. Uh, it's clear that you can use it to solve large sets of equation, algebraic equation, linear and nonlinear. It has a built-in function for thermodynamic and transport properties. It's, that's why it's highly popular software used in teaching thermodynamic heat transfer and fluid mechanics. Uh, the software can allow you to simulate algebraic equation uh, solve differential and integral equation. Uh, it has high quality uh, plots. You can use it for uh, linear, nonlinear uh, regression. Uh, also, you can use it for optimization. Uh, the software can automatically identify and group equation uh, that need to be solved. Also, you can write your own function and uh, solve it or uh, add it to ease. So now let's start with this example, trying to solve these three equations. So the first thing you need to do is to start is. So the way I will do it, if you type in your uh, startup menu uh, is, you can see the software. You can just open the software. I already have it open here. So let's start with a new screen. This is how the new screen will look like. You can start typing these three equations, there is no special uh, way to write it. You can write the equation in any format. So for example, if I start x multiplied by ln of x equal z, you can see the font is small. So one thing that we can do, for example, to, to enhance the font, uh, we can go and go to unit menu here. It will open the preferences for you and in the preferences I can go to display as you see it here I'm gonna change the font size to 24 so this should be so you can see now the font is bigger uh, next equation is x square plus y square equal z cube and last equation 1 over x Plus, uh, equal y plus z. So you can see that we have three equations with three unknown. I can check using this uh, button. It shows you that you have three equations with three variables. You can hit the calculation here, the calculator. It will show you the result. And once you hit calculation, it will show you how long it took for uh, finding the solution. Now you can see that I have an error in this uh, three set of equation, evaluation of this equation resulted in algorithm, uh, or sorry, in a logarithmic of a number less than or equal to zero. So it's clear that there is a problem with this equation. Len of x cannot be, uh, or x cannot be zero or less than zero. So the way we can change this, we can go to variable information. And here, you see the variable that you have in the equation of x, y, and z. It was able to identify this unknown. It gave it a guess value of 1. And the solution will be between lower and upper value, between minus infinity and infinity. So for x, we know that this value cannot be 0. So let's start with 0 0.0001. So that's the smallest x value. Now, if we try to hit solve, we can get that it took for 16 millisecond to solve maximum residual and maximum variable change you can hit continue to see the solution and this is what you will get the solution of x y and z so you can see that this software is powerful it allows us to solve uh, for three unknown for uh, an equation or three equation nonlinear algebraic equation so imagine now solving uh, any engineering problem where you have system of equation. This software will be very powerful and useful for such cases. Uh, also, you can plot result. For example, if somebody asks me how I want to see how the result change when x change between certain variables. So what I will do, I can comment this equation so I can remove one of the variables. Because as you know, you have three unknown with three equations. 
So if I remove one of these equation by committing, uh, you can use the, the this type of bracket, or also we can use uh, uh, this uh, notation for committing an equation. So now if I check, I will see that I have two equation with three variables. So how I can solve for variable of x? So first thing I need to do is create a table. So we go to table, new parametric table, and now I have three variable. I'm going to add the three, so in, in the table. And now my table, if I hit OK, will show me a table with 10 rows or 10 runs. So this is my table, and here is the 10 run. I can set value for x, because x, I can assume it's unknown, and solve for y and z. For example, I can set the value of x from 0.001 to, let's say, 100. And I can use linear or increment the way we would like for uh, the value spread between 0.01 and 1. I used linear, so now you can see it filled all these equation. Now to fill the value of y and z based on this constraint, all what I need is to hit run here. As you can see in this uh, side, you can say run, and now I have the value of y and z as respect with x as the independent variable. Now I can plot this uh, result by going to plot, new plot, xy plot, so plot, xy plot, and new plot. So I'm going to plot x in x-axis, y and z in the uh, y-axis. So if I do that, I just hit OK. So this is how y and z change. I know the result doesn't look, uh, I mean, the graph, the, the numbers are really big. And the reason for this, because we used a very small value at z, so, or sorry, at x. So I can maybe change this and start here with, let's say, start with 2. I can redo the solution and plot a new plot in x, y, with y and z and y axis, plot, I'll get this plot. So my first plot, which I didn't like because of the range of x, is here. This is the second plot. So you can see that even we can study the variation of different parameter. Ease, as I said, is a powerful tool. I'm going to do another video showing you how to use it to uh, use thermodynamic commands. Uh, I hope this was useful for you to start with Ease, at least doing some parametric and uh, plotting tables for uh, nonlinear algebraic equation. Thank you for listening and wish you all the best.